Hey guys, welcome back, Serena Burford Gypsy. Hey, um, so I um, <clears throat> I was watching YouTube last night and um, flicking through things. And hi, welcome. Thank you to all my subscribers, new, old, anyone who comes by and sees this. Um, so, <clears throat> and I was flicking through things and, um, <clears throat> you know, you see the thumbnails, you know, and read the titles. And it has to do with New Earth. And, you know, I have things written on my board and I have a lot of things written in my book. My book I call um, my journal. Because I was getting downloads and I was getting information about New Earth. And, um, <clears throat> and my belief is to get to this New Earth, <clears throat> it has to do with your soul. Or better yet, the letting go of, the releasing, the peeling away of the human layers. And if you've been watching my videos, you know I speak of ego, which is edging God out, Dr. Wayne Dyer, or the pain body, Eckhart Tolle. Both are great. I love those. <clears throat> That's why I always use them. Because <clears throat> it really describes what an ego is, it, you know, the programming, the, the trauma, the human um, existence, the human, um, not existence, but um, experience. And the thing, and I guess for me, because I, I get these, these downloads and I get all these things, and then, you know, to me... I write them all down and I'm like, oh, we live really live in a fairy tale land. Oh my God, this really is a matrix. It really is a computer gem. I mean, whatever. It's, it's, but that's what some of these other videos were talking about was, um, I didn't watch, watch them necessarily. Um, just kind of flick through stuff. But one thing I did see at one time was, um, before I changed it, was, um, <clears throat> fuck. hold on, let me just hang on, mm. was the, the telepathy, the peace, the love, the unification of the humans that will be left left or do we go somewhere else i don't know that part <clears throat> thank you i just heard yeah it's a state of mind it's a state of mind so we know something great huge big is happening right astronomically um yeah astronomically there's this is a big a time. I'm getting chills. That's really a big deal. I don't know what that big deal is, but it's only your soul. This is what I try to tell people. Oh, no, I don't try to. I tell people around me. <clears throat> I'm like, look, whatever's going on in this 3D world, it's only your soul. So come home to yourself. Heal the programming. Heal the traumas and the things that have occurred. And break yourself out of the matrix, right? But I found it interesting that these scientists or these people or whatever are talking about the same things that I was downloaded. So for me, it's validation. Not that I really need it, but it's kind of, it's nice. <clears throat> because I will say the same things that all these other people with PhDs or maybe they're the Joe Rogans or they're the the this guy, the Cat Williams, and the this and the that, and, you know, people around me, and I could have been saying the same shit to them for God knows how long. They're like, oh my God, you need to watch this. 
you know, it's like, okay, so whatever I say has no validity. Why? Oh, because it's just Serena. You know, she was a drug addict and she was this and she was angry and, and she's this and, and she's that and da da da, you know, and that's fine. That's fine. Because it's a me versus me journey, it's a you versus you journey. But the reason for me talking about this is <clears throat> now it's coming out. So people that think just because they, they're kind and they do good things for other people that somehow, and they do works, you know, the, the religious community, they do works. None of that's going to get you into the new earth, the heaven, because the kingdom of heaven is within you. It's within me. It's coming home to the peace inside and getting all those yucky layers of the human off of you and out of you. This is what gets you there. Like Anubis, <clears throat> like in whatever, you know, laying your heart against a feather. What do you think that means to you? To not have a heavy heart. To come from a place of just love, which is very light and freeing. It's your fucking soul. You want to go to New Earth where there's peace and there's love. There's no money system. There's none of that. It's unification of the humans that are healthy. Because when we begin to get rid of all the programming and all the humanness, and we step into our divineness of that God's spark that's within all of us, all of our gifts, all of it, because see, somebody who's still, I don't care how sweet, nice, and kind you are, maybe you're totally selfless, but yet you carry burdens of humanness, of life, of pain, of trauma, tragedy, abuse. <clears throat> your mind, your everything won't be able to grasp being 100,000% transparent. To be transparent. No fuckery. Nothing you can hide. Because there's no hiding, no secrets, no fuckery. You want to live a, a millennia, a thousand years with peace? Then come home to yourself. Heal these things. Coming to recognize that <clears throat> these things happened to us in our past, but we control our mind, our thoughts. That's the only thing we can control, not other people. But we, when you, when you heal on mission, my goal, not only to help build this new earth, but to help souls along the way, because listen, Linda, listen to me. I've been many things. I've done many things. <clears throat> I've hurt myself. More than anyone can ever hurt me. And being trapped in that cyclical pain body, in the ego, in, in the way energy works, by thinking, by just by thinking these things about myself, whether it's in, I'm aware of it or not is why we don't see anything different in our in our world okay in our small little world right in our little house we live in and, and, and the job we go to and the people we're around in our vicinity in our world it stays the same because our thinking stays the same breaking out of that 
wheel of time. The snake eating its tail. The karma, the loop, the loop, the loop, the loop, the Ferris wheel. Only you can break you out of that. And I don't think we, and I'm, I'm really beginning to believe it doesn't really have to be that hard. There's a different way. When we raise our vibration, it changes everything. Biologically. Getting outside barefoot, walking, earthing, grounding. You know, everything's with intent. If you can see it in your head, you can sit down and envision anything in your mind. Your body will begin to react to that and change. The power lies in you. And while we're in a human, we can use the power of the mind to change our entire world. Yes, including our body physically. But we've got <clears throat> decades and, and centuries, and whatever, of, of, of programming of, of shit in our minds that we are taught, that we see, that's passed down from parent to child, parent to child, parent to child. But why do you think we're here right now? To break those cycles. Okay, I've already had my children and they're grown. And now my children are having children. At least one, one is. <clears throat> so even though it might not seem like it. Because I wasn't a great parent. I did the best I could with what I knew. But I had made a decision at a young age when I started having children too that I was going to be different to what I could do. I wanted to stop the cycle of um, physical abuse. So I did. I got out of that. Now, <clears throat> abuse comes in many ways. I'm going off on a tangent here and I, I, don't, I don't want to do that. I'm going to stop. It's making the decision and truly wanting to be different. To wanting to learn how, that you can be happy and come from a place of love regardless of what's going on around you. Things just don't bother you as much. Yeah, you get hurt. You can feel a feeling, but that's it. You just feel the feeling and then it's gone. You don't have any attachment to that. It's a Beautiful place to be. But it starts with accountability for oneself, one's actions, and things that happen. The people we love, the people in our family. If they don't want to do the work, there's nothing we can do. We can't save them. We can't do the work for them. <clears throat> All I keep hearing is, you know, I wanted to be different. I wanted to be changed. And yeah, you could say, I guess one can say, during my healing journey, um, I was off and on doing drugs. <clears throat> Which isn't great for my human, biologically, or emotionally. Because of the way I view, because to me, I shouldn't have been doing that. But I was still dedicated to my journey, to my healing journey. And it was all a part of it, right? It's the crutch. My human, my ego wants to run to. To help keep it in its place. But 
as the process goes, we begin to see things differently. Now, the world will have you in one box, one thing, and, and people in your life will only see you 20 years ago, and they won't even see the person that's before them. They will still treat you and view you as you were 20 some odd years ago. That's the problem. You can't change that. And then it begins not to really bother you. I mean, it sucks that they look at you that way, but then you can look at them and go, well, well you know what? This is from your, your perspective, how you feel about yourself it has nothing to do with me. It's really very simple, but yet, we make it so complicated, this life. I don't know about you, but for me, my whole dream and my whole goal, you know what I see? I see that new earth. I see people united. I see sun. I see grass. I see laughing. I see people living in a community as a tribe. working together for what really matters and really living life on this earth, on this planet earth that's beautiful. Fuck all the concrete jungle, baby. Fuck that. For me, I don't want any of that. Yeah, I live in the luxuries now, but this is the way it is right now. We adapt. We overcome. We're adaptable. We're biological. We're in a biological system. Oh, something else is coming to me. Um, I was watching some things about time travelers, right? And at one time, he's like, you know, <clears throat> I don't know if this was in the time traveler thing, or if I'm still thinking about, but um, but there was frequencies. Um, they were using frequency and light. For healing making it sound like it's a new thing and really it's not a fucking new thing it's been around since you know long fucking time mm. you know the whites us white caucasians whatever you want to call us honkies <laughs> crackers um we're the newest species America, the corporation, because you know, the good old USA is a corporation, so, and a bully. Are you really? I'm not going to get into it. Proud to be an American. What? But none of that really matters. <clears throat> I'm a human. And the color of my skin is white. I got some yellow. Japanese. The blacks, the reds, and the yellows have been here the longest. Then came the whites. The fuckeries. The draconians, I heard. I don't know whatever that means. Um, it's like the Hitler race. Mm. By the way, I think that's what America is based off of, is it not? The Germans. And their society and what and, and their race, the Aryans. I don't know where all this is coming from. But anyway, I'm gonna stop there. So you wanna make it to heaven? Find the heaven. When you realize the kingdom of heaven is within you and you live from that place, then when you die to self and are reborn in spirit. Wow.
while you're still alive? Here? In hell? Hell on earth, they call it. I've been living in hell. But the kingdom is in you. It's on its way. No matter if we nuke each other or the volcanoes and the earthquakes and the big tall things with the flaming swords come and annihilate people. I don't know. That's a vision I've had. <clears throat> I don't know what my visions mean. If it's literally going to be a tall ass figure with flaming swords killing people. The ground is opened up. Fire's coming out of it. I mean... I don't know. Because I was looking down on it. In my vision. I'm always back. In all my visions, I'm always like floating. I, I don't know, I because I can just see. My view. In my visions. Even in my past lives. Anything I see things from is always from a higher up. I know it's really weird, but I guess what I was trying to say earlier is I if I can if I can fucking do this, anybody can. But it takes determination, consistency, and the will, the perseverance. Because you're fighting. I don't want to say fighting. But you're... <clears throat> well, I'm, I, that's the only way I know how a human word to use right now is fighting. Is, is fighting... Is recognizing... Because... <clears throat> okay, a little, a, a little thing. As far back as I can remember. My whole life. As I opened my eyes... Every day. Everything would run through my mind. From I don't care how many years ago. Whatever. Till I was so upset. And living from a place of sadness. Before I even got out of bed. That was my human doing that to me. My own mind. At night I couldn't sleep. Because everything's running through my head. All the things I really I can't do anything about. First of all. It's nighttime, it's bed, it's go to sleep. I've had trouble sleeping, you know. So let's drink, do drugs, let's do all kinds of shit to get out of mind, right? We all know that doesn't work. If anything, it just makes things worse. It doesn't happen nearly as often. But once in a while, it creeps in. And my mind wants to do that again. And then I just go through the steps and the processes. I love you guys. <laughs> if I could do the work for you and just magically put my hands on you and make all of that go away, I would do that. But I cannot. It's not designed that way, is it? Have a great day. Namaste, peace, and namaste, love.